in this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to create this awesome golden text effect. Hi, my name is Manuel. It's not this over-the-top fairy tale Disney thing. We we'll use standard effects to create this tasteful, clean and toned down gold effect, so stick around. And let's get right into it. I've created a new comp and named it Content. Let's grab the title tool and add some text. I use BioSons, Extra Bold, which is an Adobe font. Size 350 pixels. Color doesn't matter. Let's center the text and align the layer to the middle of the comp using the alignment tool up here. Let's add a subtle movement by animating the tracking. We open the text property, go to the Animate menu and add tracking. Set a keyframe for the amount at the beginning. And then go to the end and set it to around 25. One more thing we'll do is select both keyframes and open the graph editor. Make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Then grab the right point, drag it down to the zero line until it snaps and push the handle as far to the left as possible. Then select the left point and also drag the handle as far to the left as possible. All right, fast beginning, then slowly smoothing out. Enough of that. Let's take care of the texture. We drag the comp onto the comp symbol down here, which adds it to a new comp, which we name golden text. First of all, we add a little bit of depth by adding a layer style. Right click on the content comp, we choose bevel and emboss. Inner bevel, smooth, size 2. And we set highlight and shadow mode to normal. Opacity 75%. Then we use the Effects and Presets window to search the Fill effect and add it to the Content Comp. Now you actually can see the bevel and emboss we've added before. 255 to 15 0 would be the RGB value for gold. Nothing that exciting, because it's mainly the reflecting light and environment which makes it look nice. So let's try and fake that in After Effects. First of all, we change the fill color to black. Let me hide the background for now. With Command Y, we add a new solid and name it Reflection. Color doesn't matter. Then we go to the Effects and Presets window and add Turbulent Noise. Fractal type, basic. Noise type, soft linear. Contrast 100, brightness 0. Let's open Transform, scale 300. Complexity, 1. Then we add a set man effect and choose content as layer to cut it out. Next we add tritone for some color. A bright yellow for the highlights. Some grey orange for the midtones. And black shadows. Finally we set the blending mode to add. All right, that's the first texture layer. Let's add some scratches to the surface. New layer for that, quad scratches, and again, we add turbulent noise. We copy the set man effect from before and paste it to our new layer to cut it out. Then we adjust the turbulent noise settings. Contrast, around 200, and let's change the fractal type to smeary for a change, cause why not? We open the transform settings and deselect uniform scaling. Scale width around 185, scale height 3, complexity 1. Play around with these settings for the amount of scratches you think is right. Then we change the blend mode to add and set the opacity to around 35%. Alright. Time for another layer, more detailed this time. We duplicate the reflection solid and move it up to the top and set the blending mode to screen. Then let's adjust the turbulent noise settings once more. Contrast way up to around 500, brightness around minus 50, scaling around 140. Then we duplicate that layer, Command or Control D, name it Glow and move it to the bottom. Delete the tritone effect and add a glow instead. Let me quickly solder that layer. It looks like that. Adding a glow, we want the white parts to glow. First, we set the glow radius to 15 and the glow intensity to 0.5. Then we duplicate that glow, set the glow radius to 75, the glow intensity down to 0.3. Several layers of glow look much more natural than just one. Now we want some movement going on in these reflections. Therefore, we select the top layer, hold Option while clicking on that little evolution stopwatch of the turbulent noise effect to add a simple time expression. Time asterisk. 50 semicolon, which makes the evolution change 50 degrees per second. Then we open the glow turbulent noise effect and link that evolution property to the one we just animated. The values are red to make the glow move along. Awesome! One last thing, we want one big edge reflection in there. So we add a new solid, Command Y and name it Edge. 
and copy and paste the set man effect from a layer below. Then we add a gradient ramp. We want to create a straight horizontal line and therefore we adjust the Y positions of the ramp. We set the start to 581 pixels, the end to 580, and suddenly we have that sharp edge. The more space you leave between these two, the more blurry the edge gets. I think a sharp edge looks best though. Then we grab the rectangle tool and draw a mask around the edge. Switch to the selection tool and position it. Open the mask property, deselect constraint proportions and set the Y value to 65 pixels for a soft transition. <laughs> we have to tone that down a little, so we set the opacity to around 60%. Then we go to the beginning and set keyframes for the start and end of the ramp and the mask path. Press U to see all keyframes in the timeline. Go to the end and change the values to maybe 531 and 530. Then select the mask and move it up as well. On the left side I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in just a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye!